Hey everyone, here is the uh, the next uh, Christmas devotional video. It's been a few days, but we're getting back at it here. And, uh, and I just have a thought I want to uh, bring to you today. And, uh, and it's a bit more of a an analogy or a picture uh, maybe to carry with you as you think about peace and especially what it means to uh, to receive peace and to hold on to peace and what it means to uh, uh, to live in that peace in a way where, uh, where it's not uh, gone so quickly. Uh, so I want to make a bit of a comparison today, and it's just a, just a thought um, I think God put on my heart just to share uh, with you. Um, so the comparison actually is uh, from the way we spend our finances to the way we spend our our peace. And uh, and if peace is a gift, and we can receive that peace from Jesus, um, the the picture that uh, that I've been getting about about spending or using that peace. Um, is comparable to the way we live with our finances and uh, and especially at Christmas time it's easy for finances to be tight as we think about uh, you know getting Christmas presents for family for friends and uh, you know in, in the winter time uh, for some uh, heating bills are higher and, and grocery bills are higher uh, Christopher's home for the holidays now and so for us that means having a little bit of extra uh, food in the cupboard a little bit of extra milk for cereal and all of these kinds of things and, and, and we make adjustments to, to our budget according to what we know uh, we're going to be spending or what we anticipate we're going to be spending. And, uh, and I'm thinking that the idea of peace uh, as it relates to our emotions, uh, as it relates to uh, living within our emotional budget. Uh, so some people have a very wide or broad emotional range and others have a more narrow uh, or more clearly defined emotional range and, and that's okay we we have different uh, different personalities and different temperaments but but I think the key ingredient in in this comparison or in this picture is uh, we try not to live beyond our financial means in other words we can't spend more than we're making uh, otherwise we go more into the hole and, uh, and nobody wants to be in a situation where they go more and more and more into debt. Um, but in the same way, our emotional lives uh, also have limitations. And those limitations are tested under times of stress, under times of grief, uh, under times where our circumstances are out of the ordinary. And, and sometimes it leaves us confused, not quite knowing what to do, not quite knowing what to think, and in some cases not even knowing quite how to feel. or. Uh, changing how we feel frequently, going from frustration to joy to anger to peacefulness. Um, uh, it's easy uh, in times of stress uh, for our emotions to be all over the map. So if you found yourself kind of being all over the place in the middle of a COVID season, you're not alone. And, and what you're going through is quite normal. Uh, so my encouragement to everybody today uh, through this video is just simply to gauge your emotional life well. Now, if you find yourself uh, more than normal experiencing feelings of frustration or experiencing feelings of confusion or grief uh, or anger, uh, it's probably a good time to pause and to uh, try to identify what it is that's causing those emotional responses. Because uh, I think peace in, in part uh, we can experience God's peace at a greater level when we live within our emotional means. Uh, what I mean is, is if we're living beyond our emotional means, we end up borrowing uh, from our supply of peace. Now, Jesus can always replenish our supply of peace. We can come to him in a moment of prayer, a moment of confession, a moment of worship, a moment of just recentering and, uh, and bringing uh, him our burdens and laying those at his feet and, and receiving more peace. Um, but day to day, just like our uh, just like our, our budgets, uh, we make uh, we have expenses each day. Uh, some are bills, and some are just purchases that we make for things that we need, and, and that's okay. But we have to watch our spending. So my question simply is, how are you spending your emotions? Are you finding yourself emotionally drained or emotionally uh, a lot of dramatic movements uh, in your emotional life? Uh, if any of these things are true, it's probably a great moment just to stop and pause. Spend some time with Jesus in worship, in prayer. Spend some time in his word. Spend some time just uh, asking him to search your heart and to help you sort out uh, a lot of those feelings. Uh, because if you're in one of those places, chances are you've overspent your emotional budget. 
and now you need to pause and allow allow your emotions to catch up when we live within our emotional means there's a great level of peace that comes uh, simply because we are not allowing ourselves to stretch beyond our emotional capacity and so for some of us that means pausing more often uh, for our spiritual batteries to be recharged and that's totally okay uh, for others that means uh, maybe more intermittent times of checking in and, and that's also okay. We're all kind of wired differently that way. So take with you the encouragement that if you experience a lot of different emotions or that your emotions are varying quite a bit in these days, uh, take heart that you're not alone. Uh, many people I know, even our staff team, uh, myself, uh, we're experiencing some of those things in these days too. And so my prayer for you is that you would find a space with Jesus uh, to be calm, to allow your emotional life to be recharged. And as you're recharged emotionally and refreshed by Jesus as he gives you more peace, uh, then to be diligent and wise in how you spend those emotions. Uh, if you have emotion left at the end of the day, you know, to engage with family or to, to call a friend or to read a book, or if you find yourself actually emotionally exhausted, uh, you know, these are two completely different scenarios. And I'd love for each one of us to be able to put our head on the pillow each night uh, with some emotion left in the tank, knowing that we haven't spent the emotion that we have for that day and, and having a chance to recharge when we need to. So take some time with Jesus, recharge, and, uh, and spend your emotions wisely each day. Thanks everyone for tuning in and uh, keep tuning in for more uh, devotional thoughts as we keep heading into the Christmas season. Thanks everybody and take care.